Just some context on Ryanair's results this morning. The load factor of 73%. It doesn't sound good compared with the 96 and the 97s that Ryanair have been recording over the past year. It brings us back to something like the levels we saw in the middle of the last recession, more winter levels than summer levels, but it are, is a pretty good number considering the context of international load factors and Dublin load factors of 25 to 40 percent. The number of passengers, 7 million, again, well, well down as reported this morning. It uh, brings us back to the levels we last saw in 2007. Airport levels are running more or less at the early 90s, around the time Jack Charlton was manager of the Irish team. But um, th in terms of Ryanair, numbers going pretty much the right direction, 73% and 72% load factor in the two months, and the increased capacity. Capacity brought back up during August to 60% of capacity. They had hoped to bring that to 80% in September. That's uh, probably being scaled back slightly because the UK and Ireland end of it. That would be nearly 30% of Ryanair's entire um, air aviation fleet would be based there, uh, probably growing a little bit slower due to self-isolation, quarantine, all the very well highlighted issues. Um, Ryanair, what happens during the winter, expect pretty much a, a lockdown. They're going to reduce capacity to a trickle right across Europe, uh, park the aircraft up, and then look at what's happening in March. They will be looking at different government policy. Very important for the governments of Europe to more or less come together on this. Most of them are uh, obvious exceptions, being Ireland, Britain, and some other countries like Hungary and Poland, who seem to be a bit wayward on that. We have a couple of months before the big decisions are made, but it's going to be um, an, a difficult winter, low capacity, uh, low access, and very, very bad for the entire travel and tourism industries relying on low cost factors, low cost airlines uh, such as Ryanair.